Hi, I'm Kelly Metzger. I'm best known for voicing the role of Nia on the cartoon Ninjago. This is my vlog where I share a little bit about my life in Vancouver. I've been taking a little creative rest and recharge over the holidays, but I couldn't help but make one last video for 2023. I really wanna thank everyone who's tuned in to watch me learn how to do YouTube um, this past year. Uh, I really appreciate the support. I've been having so much fun doing a video a week and I've learned so much. In fact, my first gig of the year is making an in-house training video for a small business here in Vancouver. I'm super excited. Yay, new skills. I know how to do new things. I began 2023 by trying out TikTok. But then I decided it wasn't for me. TikTok is a delight, but it is so addictive. And I found that hours of my life were just disappearing. And then I missed one of my online book club meetups because I got lost scrolling and I decided no. The platform that I ended up stumbling across this year was Skillshare and it has been a totally positive experience. I learned about it on Anisha, five side hustles to earn extra income on one of her videos and I decided to explore how to make my own course for Skillshare. So this year I have published two voiceover for animation courses on Skillshare. I'm just giving myself a big pat on the back for that. I have about 250 students so far and it just keeps growing and it's been really great to have access to all these classes. Creating Skillshare courses has led me to creating this YouTube channel and I learned a lot of things through that platform that helped me do that. I learned how to edit on iMovie, I learned how to create thumbnails and Instagram posts on Canva. I've experimented taking advanced selfies and then playing around with them using this app called Snapseed. I posted daily, almost, for four months straight on Instagram. And just as like a creative exercise to see what happens if I force myself to make something every day, what will come of that? And it was a really interesting experience. It surprised me what I came up with when I felt like I had no ideas. It also showed me it takes a lot of trial and error to get a few great things. Um, so I'm gonna try and continue that in the new year. And also I've noticed a, a growing following on Instagram. So if you're watching this via Instagram, I really appreciate you following my journey and I hope to uh, interact more with you in the new year. I took a few courses on Skillshare, but one of the most influential ones was uh, YouTube for Beginners with Ali Abdel. And that has really encouraged me to just follow my interests and whatever I feel like making a video that week, just do it. Stay creative, stay positive. Don't even worry if anyone's watching. Just learn how to do YouTube. And it has really helped keep me motivated to keep exploring and learning on this site. My goal is to have 50 videos up on my channel by the end of August. Speaking of goals and Ali Abdel, I ordered his book, uh, Feel Good Productivity. And because I ordered it before December 30th, I get to participate in his annual planning workshop and it's live on Zoom. So that means I'll have to get up at 6 a.m. here in Vancouver to participate. I don't know if that feels that good to get up at 6 a.m., but, um, I'll try, and if I actually make it to the annual planning workshop, I'll let you know how it goes. Other goals I have for 2024 is learning how to edit using Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna take a daily drawing with Procreate course, and I also wanna learn a little bit more about storytelling through social media and different filmmaking techniques. Another thing I wanted to learn was I wanted to take some guitar lessons on Skillshare, but I sliced off about a third of my fingernail with my new kitchen knives. So I found the piece. We tried to reattach it. We'll see if it, if my finger reattaches. 
and uh, maybe I can learn to play guitar later in 2024. It's not happening right away. If you have some creative goals for the new year, Skillshare is a totally friendly and accessible platform. I have a referral link in the description box. If you want to check it out, you get a free trial month. And, um, you know, for me, that platform has been life-changing. If you have any New Year's resolutions that you'd like to share, please leave them in the comments below. I find that sometimes writing your goals down or sharing them with the community can make you more accountable and perhaps more likely to accomplish them. Perhaps this is the first step in taking action. Um, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you in the new year and 2024. Let's make it a great one.